everyone this is the second lecture of our example number 1 which is the design of inch type of water tank so students in the last lecture we are discussing about the preliminary dimensions or it is also called as the fix the basic dimension of inch type of water tank so in the last lecture we are discussing about what is the dimension of all the components so now we are moving further to the design and detail of all the structural components so first of all we are designing our first component which is the design of top dome so students this is the top dome component and first of all we are much aware about which portion of the water tank is asked in the gtu point of view so in the gtu related exam the main three components are asked in your gtu exam so which are those components so the first components is design of top dome so we are discussing about this top dome second component is this portion top ring beam after that third main component is design of cylindrical wall so these three components is very most imported and with the, it is the most important portion of the design of in type of water tank so we are discussing about these three components in this type of water tank design and after that we are discussing about the re rectangle water tank which are at the raised on ground or it is also in underground water tank okay so now we are starting our first components design which is the design of top dome so this is our top dome design so this diameter is 12 meter and the half portion this portion is 6 meter and this portion is also 6 meter this is your radius 1 because this is your radius and this arc is like that okay so this radius is 10 meter so first of all we have to find out our sin theta 1 and cos theta 1 okay so for sin theta 1 what is the equation sin theta is equal to 6 divided by 10 so the sin theta 1 value is 0.6 so our theta 1 is 36.86 degree and this theta 1 is already discussed and already calculated in the last lecture okay so with the help of cos sorry theta 1 we have to find out cos theta 1 so cos 36.86 degree is also 0.8 okay now the most important portion is the design of top dome so whenever you have to design any structural components then you have to find out two main portion value is first one is size and second one is reinforcement but the first thing is we have to assume the thickness of top dome is 100 mm okay so whenever in the gtu or any exam the thickness of top dome is not given then you have to assume the thickness of top dome is 100 mm okay now we are moving further to the load calculation so this load calculation is is your udl okay so now we are moving further to the load calculation which is denoted by small w so the first load is self weight okay so the self weight is rho into capital d now rho means density of concrete which is equal to 25 and thickness thickness is equal to 100 mm so 100 mm is equal to 0.1 meter 
so the calculation of self weight of top dome is equal to 2.5 kN per meter square after that you can see that in the question it is clearly mentioned that the live load not live load specified but it is indirectly called as so wind load is equal to 1.5 kN per meter square throughout the height so this wind load is considered as live load calculation in this portion so live load is equal to 1.5 kN per meter square okay so what is the total load dead load plus live load because in the dead load calculation we have to consider two loads first one is self weight plus second one is floor finish but at the top dome there is no any floor finish no any vitrified tiles provided at the top of the dome okay so we have to not consider these floorings so now we are taking only two loads first one is dead load and in dead load we have to take take on as self weight of the top dome and second one is live load which is equal to indirectly given as wind load so the total load is 4 kN per meter square now we have to find out udl so what is the unit of udl the unit of udl is kN per meter so we have to convert kN per meter square to kN per meter by multiplying some length and that length is 1 meter because we have to design any structural components per meter length okay so the load per meter length is 4 into 1 which is equal to 4 kN per meter now the most important things is that in the design of water tanks all the loads is consider as factored load so no any particular factor of safety is provided or no any multiplication with 1.5 in the design of water tank in type of water tank okay so you have to make sure in your mind that whenever you have to design any in type of water tank then you have to not multiply with the factor of safety because all the loads is given as the factored load okay so it is 4 kN per meter square so this is your small w now in the last to last lecture it is already clear that in any water tank there are two loads first one is circumferential force or it is called as hook force and second one is meridional force so your meridional force is maximum at the periphery and your hook force is maximum at your crown it means at your gummat okay so now we are moving further to the calculation of force so the equation of meridional force is w into r1 into divided by 1 plus cos theta1 now what is the value of small w the value of small w is 4 r1 means radius 1 so the value of radius 1 is 10 and the value of cos theta 1 is 0.8 so after putting all this value we have to find out our meridional force is equal to 22.22 kN okay so after finding out meridional force we have to find out meridional stress now you all know that stress is denoted by sigma and sigma is equal to p upon a okay t is equal to force and a upon a means cross sectional area so our stress is in newton per mm square so you have to first of all convert force into newton and a a means area so we have to find out all the loads per meter length so this is length and the thickness thickness is 100 mm 
So the meridional stress value is 0.22 Newton per mm square. So this 0.22 Newton per mm square is less than 8 Newton per mm square. So this 8, 8 value is sigma cc value. It means your permissible concrete stress in compression, direct compression. Okay. So if your value of meridional stress is less than the sigma cc, then you are safe in the permissible stress in concrete. Okay. The next force is hoop force. Now, the what is the equation of hoop force? The equation of hoop force is W into R1 in the bracket cos theta 1 minus 1 upon 1 plus cos theta 1. So students, all the values are already calculated. So after putting all this value, we will get our answer 9.78 kN. Okay. So this 9.78 kN is also in kN. So we have to find out hoop stress. Now the calculation of hoop stress is same as the calculation of meridional stress. So what is the equation of stress? The equation of stress is force upon area. Okay. So force upon area means 9.78 into 10 raised to 3 divided by 1000 into 100. So you will get your answer 0 0.0978 Newton per mm square. But this answer is also less than sigma cc. So you are pass in your the safety check of permissible stress of concrete. Okay. After calculating the force stress, force stress, now we have to provide it still. It is called as AST. So in top dome design, we have to provide it minimum steel. So in the design of water tank, we have to provide it minimum steel of 0.35 percentage of total gross sectional area. Okay. So now total gross sectional area means 0.35 into B, B means 1000 mm and capital D over here because we have to take total cross sectional area. So we have to take capital D, okay, divided by 100. So we will get our answer 350 mm square. After finding out AST, the next step is to find out spacing. So if you all know that in the water tank, if the water is there, then it takes the sulfate in the downward direction. So whenever you are moving from top to bottom, the design is high. Okay. Design is high. So first of all, in the design of top dome, we are assuming that we have to provide a 10 mm diameter. After that, in the design of top ring beam, we are assuming that the diameter is 12 and 16. In the design of cylindrical wall, we are assuming that 12 and 16 and up to up to 16, 20, 24, 28 and up to up to. Okay. So in the design of top dome, we are assuming that we have to provide a 10 mm diameter. So the spacing is small HT divided by capital HT into 1000. So now what is the value of small HT? So small HT is pi by 4 into D square. Now what is D? D means diameter of the reinforcement. So diameter of reinforcement is 10 mm. So pi by 4 into 10 square. So you will get your answer 78.53. Your capital AST is 350 into 1000. So you will get your answer 224 mm. But you all know that you have to provide your reinforcement at closer spacing. So 
you have to provide it 10 mm diameter spars at 200 mm center to center it means you have to provide it your ast is equal to 392.5 mm square which is greater than 350 mm square because you have to provide it ast greater than the required ast so this is the end of your first design which is the top dome design in which now we are revise this top dome design in which we have to find out first of all theta 1 sin theta 1 cos theta 1 after that we are assuming that the thickness of top dome is 100 mm after that we are discussing about the load calculation which is small w after that we are find out meridional force meridional stress hoop force hoop stress and after that we are providing minimum ast spacing spacing provided and ast provided so this is the end of your step number 1 now moving further to your step number 2 so this step number 2 is the design of top ring beam so students this is your top ring beam so you all know that there are two forces first one is meridional force which is maximum at the periphery and second one is hook force so hook force is maximum at the ground so how the load is transfer from the top dome to top ring beam and how to design the top ring beams component so this design of top ring beam is discussed in the next lecture so students this is the end of today's session thank you